But like, do you see how like stressed the corners yeah, are? Yeah, that's not great. Oh, that is so bad. You don't do that. I think. They did oh no! Dumb. Did they? Inst they did something dumb. No. We're gonna go to like a little, little god. Oh no. You guys love shopping at Goodwill for your clothes. Well, we love shopping at Goodwill for our Alienware gaming PC. We paid $256 for this Alienware gaming laptop from Goodwill, won it on their auction site, and it looks like it could be a great deal, but is there a caveat? Yeah, there is. But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you looking for a great deal on a new gaming or workstation PC? Then today's video sponsor, HP, has you covered with their 4th of July sale. For example, you can save big on the HP NV lineup with spec ranges featuring the Intel Core i5 512400 and NVIDIA RTX 3050 for only $779. Or you can step up to the Intel Core i7-12700 and RTX 3070 Ti for only $1,299. The HP NV lineup is great for gaming and content creators alike. If you prefer a little bit of RGB in your life, you can also cash in on the HP Omen 25L with the Ryzen 7 5700G and AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT for only $1,099. There are just a ton of options during this 4th of July sale for you to consider. And if you want to browse the full collection of deals, check the links in the description down below. And big thanks again to HP for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the video, shall we? So if you guys didn't know, Goodwill does actually have an auction website. And very often, you can find some okay or sometimes decent deals on computer hardware. In this case, we got an Alienware laptop that we don't really know much about. That's one of the perks of being a YouTuber. You can just buy stuff they don't know anything about. So we're going to find out if we actually got a good deal or if we got scammed and ripped off. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. All right guys, so well, we believe we have an X17 R2 Alienware, and since Matt bought this, he'll tell you a little more about what we think could be in it, a lot of unknowns. Yeah, so we know the CPU is an i7 8750H based on the picture on the Goodwill listing. We don't know what GPU though, there was never a picture of the GPU, but we think it's either a 1060 or 1070, which let's see, what, what's it looking like in here? Um, it, it looks like an Alienware. It looks like so an Alienware, have, so at least got that. We and know a big that power this, brick. Yeah, we know this is Alienware. This is a 240 watt power brick. That is a freaking full power supply outside of this laptop. This thing is already like a chonky boy. Yeah, that's definitely a 17 inch. Yeah, definitely a 17 inch. Um, so they put like bubble wrap, but like, do you see how like stressed the corners yeah, are? Yeah, that's not great. Definitely a little scary. So one thing that I, we have really noticed about Goodwill, they, they <laughs> do not, they do not like to label things very well. Um, oh, that is so bad. You don't do that. Okay, so what they did here, we were miss. We knew this. We knew that we were missing a key, and that was a horrible idea. They taped it like in here and then closed the lid on it, which oh, is like. Man. I mean, that's the main way you shatter and break screens. This one might be okay since it wasn't on or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. I don't know why they did that and they just put it in. Maybe it's like broken. Well, like... one thing about laptops I know for a fact is they're notorious for like, if a key falls off, you can't get it back on. I do know for a fact that many laptops, once this happens, there is no easy way just to get it back on. We'll, we'll look into it some more, figure something out, but I just know from the past, we've had some laptops where the keys came off and I was told there's like no way to fix it besides buying a whole new keyboard. Which and, I did price out, <clears throat> I did price out a new keyboard on eBay just out of curiosity and they're like $50, which isn't like awful. If this is yep. a decent laptop, putting 50 bucks into it, $300, I mean, reasonably it could be resold after being cleaned up and stuff for like 350, 400 yeah. bucks. Now this thing's a, yeah, it's a behemoth. So we have just a single USB three on the right hand side. I love this feature. We have some ports in the back. We have an ethernet. We have a, is that mini display mini port? Mini display port. Um, full size HDMI, USB-C. Uh, is that a docking station? That's their like docking slash eGPU <laughs> setup for Dell, I think okay. for Alienware's. Giant power a barrel jack. And then on the other side, we actually have a lot more ports. We have another USB-C, USB 3, and then we have dual headphone and microphone jacks, which is pretty sick. I'm really doubting this thing has charge, but I always like checking because it kind of shows if it has a really good- Oh, it has charge. It well, look at those battery. LEDs on the side of this thing. Ooh, yeah, this thing, I don't even want to, we're going to have to do some research. I bet this thing was like two, three grand when it came out. Yeah. Um, because I mean, yeah, when you got all this RGB and fanciness, they get expensive, guys. Yeah, so we'll let everything load up and then we'll actually verify what GPU we have. Now, I think one thing that's a big downside is Goodwill labeled it as a two terabyte hard drive. And I'm gonna <laughs> guess it actually is a two terabyte hard drive. That's sad. Um, so that's the one downside, but that's something we could upgrade just in terms of like resale value over at PC Bro. Slap in a good SSD and make this thing much better, but based on the boot times. And based on that, I feel like that's a hard drive LED, yeah, essentially. Yeah, the hard drive it's, LED. It's working. Based on all that, I have a feeling it's gonna be a hard drive and it's gonna be a little bit of a slow one. So that will pull us back a little bit, but we'll be able to get in there eventually. And uh, I was hoping by the time I was done talking, it would be in there. Yeah, but so this we, is... uh, we gotta keep uh, yeah, alien. Um... All, right, all right, so we're moving the trackpad. I don't... 
What, what, what is this thing doing? It's kind of scaring me because it's like, is it going in and out of being charging and not charging? I can't even get the charging to pop up. I guess we'll see. We might need to shut it down and let <laughs> it try to and let it charge, I guess. Well, so we'll let it sit here for a few minutes and then we'll come back and see. Hopefully the battery's in an okay state. I would think this would be enough power though to just keep it running. But there is some cases where um, it's really cool when it's charging the sides and the alien glow red. Yeah. But there are a lot of cases where when a laptop battery is like defective or really dead that it, it won't even power on with the charger um i don't know why just probably safety precaution in case your yeah. battery's about to blow up we'll give it a minute we'll come back all right guys so we let it charge for a little bit and now it seems to be working it is still slow because of that hard drive that hard drive is really killing us here we might end up just doing an upgrade of that we'll just see oh, oh, oh what's happening but yeah it was like flashing red and now it's not doing the flashing anymore after the battery had time to charge we'll have to see when we start gaming if it's going to have any issues but right now the cpu is actually 100 percent interesting is there stuff happening in the back? Oh, no, no, it's just capping. All right, so we do, in fact, have the i7-8750H, which what is awesome about this is it's actually a six core 12 thread. I remember seeing these in like some of those Dells and Lenovo's we were checking out for a while on uh, eBay, so that was cool. Uh, 12 gigs? 12 gigs. Yeah, 12 gigs, 2400 megahertz. It is DDR4 Sodium RAM, so that's cool. It is actually dual channel. We're using both slots. There's our 100% hard drive. They're dumb. I think they did oh, no, dumb. did they inst- They did something dumb. No! Okay, so th this is good news, those guys. So check it out, we have a Seagate one terabyte hard drive, has Windows on it, you can tell because it's 100%. And look at our little SSD, our NVMe PNY CS1031 terabyte, just sitting at 0% usage. So we're going to fix that right <laughs> yes. away. But before we do that, this is the really the big question that we've been wondering. Are we ready? Is it a 1060 or 1070? 1070. 1070. Right, I'm gonna bet 1070. Yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic. Ooh, 1070. Ooh, nice. Right. So we're looking a lot better now. This is this makes it more tempting to maybe look at getting a new keyboard. And if this battery ends up being good, then whatever. If it ends up being bad, maybe a new battery too, because I think for maybe 350 bucks, if that's what it takes to fix this up, I think this laptop's worth like 500 to the right person. Yeah, so for our sanity purposes, because it would probably take <laughs> longer to install games on this hard drive than it would be just to reinstall Windows on this SSD. We're gonna fix that. And then from there, we'll be able to test in some games and see if this battery holds up and see if we got a good deal. All right, let's get Windows installed. All right, guys, we're playing Apex Legends. We're playing Control, which is one of the more demanding game modes. FOB all the way up, 1080p. And as you can see, here's the settings. Pretty much medium, high. We kind of left a lot of the high settings alone because we, we figured this, this PC could probably almost run high. And I do think, is this just a 60 hertz screen, I assume? Yeah, it's just a 60 hertz screen. Wow! Whoa, whoa. I know y'all didn't see that coming. Not bad performance wise. The freaking speakers are loud. They are really loud speakers. Over 100 FPS most of the time. We're getting really good latencies as well. Definitely liking to see that. Man, typical laptop fashion. The CPU is running in the 90s, but especially these older i7 laptops, that's just kind of standard, like 90s to 100s, like it happens <laughs> and uh, they'll just thermal throttle where they need to be, but it's not really impacting our performance all that much. Yeah, you definitely can't have these in your lap. No, they will it burn is... you. Oh. Vehicles and Apex is just interesting. I just love this this feature. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh blocked. gosh! Bless me, we're sucked. Oh. Don't worry, McAllister. I'll get one kill for you. He's like, um, Jackson, you need to kill somebody. In which I would rebuttal, um, McAllister, I know that. Oh. Oh. Where are you, people? Oh yeah. That's what we're looking for, right? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Not that, oh, no. no. Bombs everywhere. We're gonna go to like a little, little god. Oh no. Oh no. That was not good. That could have been anything. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been a, a Windows problem. It could have been a hardware problem. It could have been why it ended up at a Goodwill problem. Dude, that was just like a, that was like a hard reset. <laughs> that was a scary reset. Um, we're gonna see what went wrong with that. So quick little update, what have we done to this laptop? Uh, we did a bunch of updates <laughs> for the quick little update. And for some reason we're doing shaders again, I guess, cause this is like a new Windows build. Yeah, hopefully we, we, did, we had a really old version of Windows 11. We also have Windows 11 on here, which probably <laughs> isn't the smartest, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get that updated. Uh, well, Apex updated and then we're gonna try Apex again. All right guys, take two. I'm recording now just in hey, case Julian. it crashes again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what he said. <laughs> Still should be the same settings, but yeah, a little bit lower. Oh, wait. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh, let's go. 
Oh, yeah. yes. He's Ow. on a rampage. <laughs> yeah. Na, 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 na. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mozambique. Mozambique. Oh, oh, wow. Well, Wolf Squad won. It didn't crash again. We went for about five minutes, which was longer than the last time by like yeah. a minute. I don't really know if it totally fixed our issue, but we'll play Fortnite and see if it crashes. But performance so far, I think it's pretty good. All right, guys. Oh, goodness. We're in Fortnite and I'm already in the circle. Oh, God. How'd that happen? All right. We have landed and I keep hitting the macro instead of escape. It's always weird when you have the extra bar on the side. And running TSR low and medium settings across the board. I was expecting a little bit worse, um, but the performance with this i7 is pretty good. Now, the real thing is, will it stop crashing? And uh, we won't really know 100%. Even if this doesn't crash on this run, I'd still be a little bit skeptical. We may need to run some stress tests to make sure 100% that it's going to be good. But right now, it's working okay. Um, no major crashes or anything. Fortnite is definitely a game that uses much more of the CPU. As you can see, we actually have 80% CPU usage right now. Um, in Apex, we're using about 50. So that's something to keep in mind. This older i7 is going to be pushed, but it's, it's working pretty good so far. There's a lot of gunshots going on up here. You're done. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Planning up today for a brighter future tomorrow. Yeah. Get out of your Optimus Prime. Prime. I keep shifting my fingers over. You have three HP. Oh, that's an. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it didn't work. But you know what hasn't failed yet? The laptop. And we won! Oh my goodness, I feel like did, I did absolutely nothing, but our team won. Woo. And uh, yeah, so far the laptop's doing pretty good. So what we're gonna do is um, install some built-in benchmarks, some games that'll really stress this thing to its limits, and then just kind of determine if the laptop's gonna hold up long-term and decide if we got a good deal or not. All right, guys, so despite having one kind of scary crash where it black screen and restarted, we think that was because we just had no updates done. And yeah, that just goes to show people at home, make sure you update your computer or laptop because you could have some really crazy blue screens or crashes if you don't. But overall, I mean, we got a 1070, a one terabyte Gen 3 NVMe SSD, one terabyte hard drive, 8th gen i7, that's a 6 core 12 thread, and a GTX 1070 mobile graphics card inside of this. That's a pretty good deal for under 300 bucks. And the only major issue we had is the missing keycap here, which we did some research and it's really hard to find individual keys. And even then the best option would be to replace the keyboard. But for our sake, we're gonna clean this thing up really well. And over at PC Bro, since we're actually using the NVMe SSD now, it's so much quicker. And we'll be able to sell it for maybe like $50 more than we paid, make a little bit of money off of it. Now, are we saying you should go to Goodwill and buy stuff to flip it? No, because no. most of the time you're going to get stuff that is way worse off than this. We actually got pretty lucky overall. What would you sell it for in its current condition after we clean it up and make sure everything is activated and ready to go? I'd love to know in the comment section down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So as we said, this will be for sale at PCBros.Tech, and don't worry, it will come with a warranty, and hopefully no more keys fall off. PCBros.Tech, we sell gaming pieces, gaming laptops, and so much more. Use code ToastyBros2 on check out to save 2% of your next purchase. And stay tuned, these things will be coming to the website very soon. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.